Hello everybody. Today is Wednesday, May 20th, 2020. 63 degrees Fahrenheit, 16 degrees Celsius. The time is 5.36 p.m. I'm in the Flatiron District looking at the Flatiron Building. Rode my bicycle down here and today I'm going to be doing a live walk of Manhattan. I'm using my iPhone 11 Pro today, so I shouldn't have too many issues with the live streaming. I know it's been giving me some issues recently. But here I am, middle of Manhattan. I hope many of you got the notifications as well. I know a lot of people have been having issues with that, not getting notified when I went live. But let's get started. You can see here my bicycle, I rode it down here, and I'm just going to bring it along with me during the duration of this walk. Yeah, I figured out what the issue with the blurring is, it's the phone. I'm not sure what's going on with the phone, but someone said the CPU might have been overheated or maybe it's the Android operating system. I ordered another phone, so... Hopefully that'll solve the issue. But I need to wait for that one to arrive. This time I'm using my um, iPhone 11 Pro. The 8 I already got rid of, so. Okay. I'm gonna get started on walk here. Dylan, you were just here and you were stuck in traffic? Oh my goodness. Doesn't seem to be too much traffic right now. Alright, I'm going to bring my bicycle now. Got to push it with me like this. Let's go in Madison Square Park. Rainy got a new tablet and most excitement in two months. The new phone I ordered was the LG V40. Hopefully that does better for live streaming on YouTube and Twitch. Hey, Judas is in town. I know I'm pretty close to where Judas is. Yeah, there are more people out right now. All right. Flat iron building has scaffolding as usual now. I can't really remember when it didn't have scaffolding. Oh, Dylan, there's no traffic until you get to the Holland Tunnel. I guess that's uh, to be expected. There usually is traffic by the tunnel. Geo Free, happy birthday to you. I just noticed that entrance to Madison Square Park was closed. I'm gonna go around to the side entrance, hopefully that's open. Twenty third Street is a lot of people right now enjoying the sun, getting some walking in and exercise. Yeah, New York is opening up back up. I know most of New York State has been opening up, the most recent being the capital area, but New York City is still on pause mode until at least the end of the month. This one says uh, a sign wear a face covering unless you're at least six feet away from others. 
But Madison Square Park is lively right now. There's a bunch of people here. They have the original Shake Shack. This place is still open. Looks like they got a good system there. You order and you pick up at the window. Here's the Madison Square Park Fountain, although it seems to be pretty empty of water right now. I don't see any squirrels here though. What happened to all the squirrels? Oh look, there's a new sign for Madison Square Park. They have some rules here to stay healthy. Open gates to access the lawns. You need to wear a face cover. That was the big sign back there. People need to wear face covers. Only service animals on a leash. So you can't bring like your normal pets here. It needs to be a service animal and lawns will be open at the discretion of the Parks Department. That makes sense. Let's go over to this side. Maybe I'll show you the, um, the paid toilet. Maybe that one's still open. Carl3 wants to know why I don't stream from my GoPro because mainly because it's unreliable. I'm trying to connect to it with my GoPro app and it disconnects and doesn't work that well. So I just gave up on it. Is that 11 Madison across? I'm not familiar with the, um, the numbers here, but this one is one Madison. One's the Metropolitan Life Tower, the clock tower. And this building here is New York Life. And in that corner over there, that used to be the original location of Madison Square Garden. And also the second iteration of Madison Square Garden. Rainy Tempt over there. Nice building. I take your word for it. I've seen the lobby too. It's beautiful. All right, folks. Here you have the 25 cent toilet, which was featured in one of my videos before. They only give you 15 minutes to use the toilet, but looks like it's out of order right now. So, Apparently all the 25 cent quarters can't keep this public toilet in operation. It's out of order now. And it's a pretty funny toilet video too. I was curious what would happen if you stay more than 15 minutes inside the toilet and the door automatically opens on you and the alarm starts sounding. I titled it like the worst public toilet ever. It comes complete with sound effects. But anyway, I had an emergency the other day when I got dropped off here. I needed to use a restroom. First, I was like, bring me over here, this public toilet, because I know it's probably going to be open. So I went here. It was the same thing. It was out of order. And then I ran over here across the street to McDonald's. McDonald's, their restroom, they're not allowing customers to use the restroom. So you know where I went to the restroom? I went to the restroom at Italy, which is over here, the Italian grocery store and supermarket. They have public restrooms available. And in New York City now, it is so hard to get restrooms, public restrooms, because all the usual places that had restrooms 
most of them are closed now to the public like restaurants and bars and retail stores so it is really really hard to find restrooms now yeah if you need a restroom you got one there in Italy but they close at 8 p.m. Even the police precinct didn't let me use their restroom in Midtown. And Central Park, they had their restrooms closed too. And I also found a restroom available at the Port Authority bus terminal. So Port Authority bus terminal has a restroom on the third floor open and Italy has a restroom. So you're covered at least for like a 30 block radius in Manhattan. So make sure you do your thing before you come and Try to go when you have an opportunity to because you may not be able to later on. Oh, Penn Station has restrooms too? Okay, that's good to know. Grand Central does not have restrooms because they closed off the lower level and that's where the public restrooms are. And also, um, What's the other one? Bryant Park. Their restrooms are closed too. So it's like really, really hard to find anything. Right now I'm in the Flatiron District. Joe Hernandez is wondering. There's the Empire State Building. Love this view here. God, I think I know a restroom that's grosser than that Penn Station one. It's that 25 cent public restroom I just passed. That's wide open now. You can go in there and people can just walk into you. How's Rockefeller Center? Rockefeller Center is completely closed off. You can't even go there. The concourse is closed off. The lower level is closed off. The promenade is closed off. Big Dog saying when you ride your bike, does the mask bother while riding? Absolutely. Because when you're riding a bike, you're exer exercising in using more energy so you need to breathe more what I do is I pull down the mask a little bit so my nose nostrils aren't covered and that way I get some more air in I don't think it's good to keep the mask on while bike riding for long periods of time because you're just breathing in your own carbon dioxide and that's not healthy Here's an old monument in New York City, the Wharf Monument. Might be the second or third oldest monument in New York City. We'll walk up Fifth Avenue now. Can I turn back and show the view of Flatiron? Sure. I can do that for just a little bit. There it is. Yeah, these flower pots are so nice. Uh, Israel, I haven't gone to the airports in a while. I have heard though that airlines are starting to pick up traffic. I think now they're, they're uh, riding at half capacity maybe, three quarters capacity, but they can't do full flights anymore. Let's go through Washington. Not Washington, Madison Square Park again. It's 
someone's playing music here in the park. And I remember that sign said that only service animals are allowed in Madison Square Park. These are not service animals. They're all just normal pets here running around the lawn. So it's not enforced that, what, that much. We got a trumpet player here. Playing some jazz. Tunisia, I'm just gonna go walking around to Midtown. I'll probably go up to Bryant Park and check out 42nd Street. I think this is as far south as I go. There's some police activity there on the corner and there's a crowd gathered there. Let's go check it out. What's going on? Wow. What? I heard something get out of the way, move or whatever. is on the way. Whoa, police car just crashed. Whoa, cop car just crashed there on that corner. I hope everyone is safe and okay. All right, I'm gonna go this way. Cause I don't wanna be over here. I wanna show the police car that crashed. It is messed up folks, look at it. This is really really bad whoa oh my goodness all right let's get out of here whoa this car too this police car oh my goodness judith you should come out here this very close to where you are oh my goodness there's something happening here. Hopefully no one's hurt is right. But two cop cars were involved in a crash here. Maybe there's a car chase or they hit each other, who knows? Let's get out of here. I don't want to linger on this scene. I just overheard someone saying that there are two cop cars that crashed into each other. One hit the other one from the side. So I can only imagine what was involved to have a car crash like that, but. Let's continue on this walk. I'll go up uh, Park Avenue. Yep, 
You had two police cars involved in a crash. Just wow. That must have just happened. Well, that folks is gonna be an expensive repair work and expensive bill for the city between medical bills and replacement of the police vehicles and all the equipment in there. The dab emoji. I didn't even know they had a dab emoji here on YouTube. Yeah, that's right, Dutch bike blogger. I hope the people are okay. The other stuff can be replaced, but a human life, it can't. I don't need to ask people what happened because I already saw what happened. There's two cop cars that got into a collision with each other, that's it. I mean, we can go down this block and I'll walk back up Madison again, if you're curious. Will I go to NYU Langone for the 7 p.m.? I'm not sure about that yet. I'll see what's happening when I, where I am at that time. Harj, I don't know where I'll be clapping today. If it was like that, in Times Square the other day, there was no clapping there whatsoever. And to me, when I saw Times Square like that, no clapping at all, I was like, wow, I think this is like the first time I experienced other neighborhoods in New York City which are louder than Times Square. Because Times Square is very few people in there right now. Hard to believe that there's less noise in Times Square than the other parts of the city. All right, folks. I'm gonna turn the camera to the left. If you don't wanna watch this, then you don't have to, but. All right, let's go. More people are coming by to see what's going on. A lot of emergency vehicles there. Yes, I do have my bike with me. I've been carrying it this whole time. Hi, 78651 from Turkey. Yeah, both cars are pretty much totaled.
Joe, they just said they mentioned the accident on Eyewitness News. Pretty involved crash there. Oh my goodness. Sharon, I'm walking in Midtown right now. Sean O'Connor with five bucks. Thank you, man. You want me to get a coffee? I'll get a coffee the next time I stop by. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sky, commenting on my shirt. Yeah, today would have been the first day of Fleet Week. You know what's also coming up very soon too is Memorial Day. Memorial Day, the beaches are normally open at that time, but I don't think the city is opening up the beaches anytime soon. You want me to go to 25th and Lex? Well, I'm on 29th now. I don't want to walk back there. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go cross down. I'll go west first. Judas asking, have I ever gone to an aircraft carrier during Fleet Week? No, I haven't gone to um, one of those. The only aircraft carrier I've been on is the Intrepid, which is usually there anyway. Fleet Week is when the US military comes to New York City and docks, and you can go on some of their um, ships and equipment and it's really nice also they have some cool events during fleet week as well i remember last year during fleet week they had Navy divers in Times Square in a swimming tank and people were making like faces at them and taking pictures of the Navy divers inside the swimming tank. Von Herr is asking, are electric scooters available again in New York? I've seen people ride them. Technically, they're illegal in New York, but it's not really enforced that well. Uh, the temperature is 63 Fahrenheit. Wow, Scott, you saw a really old video three years ago. Mexico Independence Day video. I know, Sky, I've got so many videos. Everything from like three years ago is still there. Test DC with five bucks saying, how's it going? Thank you, man. Everything's going great. Just taking a walk here in Manhattan.
We'll go across town. You know what I think I'll do? I'll go over to um, Hudson Yards. I haven't been there in a long time. Especially because they closed off the High Line. The High Line Park was one of my favorite parks in the city and now it's completely closed off. You know what's really, really sad? These parking lot operators. I think they're gonna have to dramatically reduce their rates because now there's like so much parking available in the city. How are these parking like lots and garages gonna make any money now? Yeah, 38 bucks an hour, but now there's plenty of parking on the street. So I'm sure those parking lot owners are paying a lot of rent to the landowner or they're not renting out as many spaces. Judith Hinton with 10 bucks saying this is for the donation you screwed up on Twitch. Yeah, that uh, Twitch, I'm still trying to um, get partnership and get it all sorted out. But in the meantime, I think I'll do YouTube until I get partnership because more people know me over here. But I do, do love the platform of Twitch for live streaming a lot better, especially because the moderation tools are better and there's things like slow mode and loyalty badges yeah, yeah it's gonna be a different platform to stream on twitch harry main with five bucks enjoy my cycling videos for last week well i made another one today i just gotta go home and edit it and produce it but thank you so much man No breakfast say I need to stream a lot on Twitch in order to get partnership. Well, I did submit my application already. I think it will go through. It just needs time to be reviewed. I already have Twitch affiliate. And I also got a $1.99 super chat from Michael Bowman. Thanks, Michael. Yeah, Judah's saying never got notifications for Twitch, but you like the streams. Well, YouTube, some people haven't gotten notifications either. Big Dog saying, do I have any video ideas for Memorial Day weekend? Well, I may even end up just riding my bike to the beach because that's the time for the beach just to see what people are up to if they are going to the beach anyway regardless if uh, the beaches aren't officially open you want me to go to baruch college i think that's on 28th right It's 25th and Lex. That's way back already. I'm not going back there right now. I never tried Periscope before, but I don't think there's 
a way to monetize it as easily as YouTube and Twitch is. Here we got 6th Avenue, the road is all milled. Here we have America Gourmet Food. You know their stuff is gourmet. RJU Jones with five bucks. Thank you, RJU. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. You know, speaking of chairs, I actually bought a new computer chair because the one I had was so uncomfortable especially now I'm spending more time at home and the chair needs to be very good for my back and be supporting. I got one from Staples. It was the Staples Hyvik chair, I think it was. It was like 220 bucks. And I found out that before the COVID-19 pandemic, it was less than 200 bucks. So Staples raised the price of their chairs because of I guess people staying at home needing computer chairs. Yeah, good posture is very important. Good chairs are good for your posture and you also need good sleep as well. If you think about it, you spend at least like a third of your life on the bed. So you got to make sure that you're comfortable on the bed. Here's a double tree Hilton. We spent yesterday watching my Broadway walk from February. That was a long time ago. Thank you, I360 with five bucks Canadian. The stream looks clean. Thank you, man. I like your new name too. I360 has kind of like that Apple feeling compared to the Voyager. I wonder what used to be here. All these businesses have their gates rolled down. Oh, these are wholesale stores. Palms Fashion. Where am I right now? This is 29th Street. I'm just about to reach uh, 7th Avenue. Someone's getting a delivery here for the B&D Halal restaurant across the street, I think. Yeah, this is the Garmin District. 29th and 7th Avenue. All these wholesale stores are closed. I think I'll walk 34th Street on my way back to the east side after I go to Hudson Yards. Usually I don't show these smaller crosstown streets. I think they're deserving of some screen time as well. All right, I got some super chats from Antonio Costa. Good job for $5 Brazil, thank you. And 
790 from Max Seraphim. Do you think it's possible to go from New York, from Brazil in August? That is hard to tell. I mean, I don't think travel to New York is restricted right now, but you may want to consider if you want to come there, come here during this time, because many of the tourist attractions will still be closed. I know Broadway's closed until at least September. I know it's very tempting to travel places now because the airlines have very inexpensive plane, uh, plane fares. But I don't know if it's worth it at this time to travel. You have to kind of like weigh your options. Adam Gorthemeyer with 420 Canadian. Thank you so much from Montreal. Nice walk. Thanks, Adam. Ali Berry is asking what beach and am I going to ride to? If it's going to be one, I think I'll pick Coney Island. KN saw me on someone's thumbnail. I do know I have an imposter on YouTube. I've reported that imposter to YouTube a while ago, but they haven't done anything about it, which is pretty disappointing. Because I know that imposter has been going to other people's channels and making some nasty comments and racial, like, slurs and stuff and that's not nice at all yeah cafe logis saying youtube's likely a skeleton crew i mean there's even a live stream that i did i think three or four weeks ago that's still waiting to be reviewed and reinstated so they must be really backed up MGK Media know that some of the YouTube content moderation employees work inside Chelsea Market. Yeah, the Chelsea Market is uh, owned by Google and there is a YouTube like studio there. You can go in there and go into the YouTube space and use all the facilities. It's a really cool place to be. Uh-oh, what am I going to do with this tarp that's blowing in the wind and I have my bicycle. This looks like something from a movie. All right, Hudson Yards, not too far now. I see the triangular building, which is the edge. Eric Veritas Blair with 10 bucks saying YouTube should hire content creators that can work from home. I mean, right now, I know there are a lot of people who are still working from home. I'm not sure if YouTube is, has enough people now, but we'll see. But thank you for the $10. John Sanchez with $1.99. Thanks for showing us around. Thank you, John. You're very welcome. All right. I see the high line up ahead. Captain, I'm going to Hudson Yards.
And then after Hudson Yards, I'll go walk 34th Street. I mean, I Am Legend, it does have a lot of similarities with New York City right now. That whole scene on the Park Avenue viaduct right before Grand Central Terminal, that is very reminiscent of the scene where Will Smith goes on that same viaduct in search of Fred, Fred the Mannequin. If anyone's not familiar with that scene, it's when he goes up there and he's like, Fred! Fred! The hell are you doing out here, Fred? Bookish Horsco, he thought that movie was so boring. I mean, it had some good moments, but a lot of it was kind of like weird. 626 is asking if people ever get filmed uh, if I ever film people and they get upset I mean from time to time but not not very often John Walter Sabatini with 499 with saying nice weather thank you man it is a very nice day out yes Brooklyn New York thanks for joining in Glad you can make it here. Very quiet on these side streets, I have to tell you. A lot more quiet than the wider crosstown streets oh my goodness i got five bucks from izzy's place with a request to say something a phrase like a new yorker all right let's say it forget about it a regular person would say forget about it but it's Forget about it. There's even a sign, an electronic sign on the Brooklyn Queens Expressway. It's funny, it says, outside with no mask, forget about it. I think I have that recorded somewhere on one of my drives. Outside with no mask, forget about it. I like that they're putting in humor in some of their, you know, PSAs. There's even a New York um, a bike lock. It's called the forget about it lock. I have that one. It's the, it's like so thick. When you see that bike lock, you really do want to forget about it. RJU is saying that there's a lot of cases in Coney Island now. Oh my goodness. John's saying when I lock a bike in New York, I forget about seeing it ever again. Why do you think I'm carrying my bike right now? Like, I could easily lock it up and everything, but I don't want to take the chance that someone's going to steal this bike. Plus, it's a lot easier for me to just 
walk this around and then when I'm finished and just ride it back. It's not like it's that much of a hassle to carry around. Thank you, Zoro. Nice Marin bike. This is a gravel bike. This basically has a wider tires. It's better for all the terrain. I think a gravel bike would do a lot better on these type of roads than a road bike will. Look at this. If you ride a road bike on this, you probably get a lot of like cases where your tires and getting punctures. Um, I don't know how many millimeters these tires are. This is the uh, 700C Schwabler G1. Yeah, I'm not sure. You know what? I got a better, um, better way to go around this. Yeah, believe it or not, these tires are the original tires that came with the bicycle when I bought it. I'm gonna go this way because under there it doesn't really look too inviting and I can still go through Hudson Yards this way. Thank you, Dave, for commenting on my jacket. A lot of post office vehicles around here. Omega oh, Chi, I do have a mountain bike, but I'm actually thinking of getting rid of it because it's just so huge and bulky. Dwayne is asking, when do I think New York is going to be open to travelers? That's such a hard, like, thing to guess. I mean, if I had to take an educated guess when tourism will reopen, probably by October or November at the very least. I think that's when tourism will be back for the most part. Let's go down this way. Whoops, no pedestrians except bus passengers. Okay, I guess we can't go down that way. Good to read the sign. I know, Vlad, the summer's not going to be available for the tourists. Yes, Timothy, this is the James Farley Post Office. Right now it's being um, converted into the, like, another building for the Penn Station. As a result, there's a lot of construction here. Right now this is the second phase of Hudson Yards. Yeah, Darrell, you're saying you used to have a road bike not good for potholes. Yep, New York City's got broken glass, potholes, milled roads, which the city doesn't pave over for like weeks. I like a gravel bike because it can handle anything that the city throws at you. Edmonton has bad potholes. 
Well, I'm assuming that because up there they have harsher winters than New York. That's really going to be tough for the roads. Here's uh, Hudson Yards, Bluestone Lane. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to fine tune that bot, the Stream Elements bot. Seems to be hiding some like good comments too. Oh, you want to see this orange car to the right? How about it? Nice car there. This is a good time for me to get some water. My mouth is dry. Right underneath the, the edge. All right, Hudson Yards, right ahead. Uh, big dog saying I might be able to get that car soon with the YouTube revenue. I mean, believe it or not, YouTube is hard work. It doesn't really bring in as much revenue as you think, unless you really get sponsorships and a lot of viewership to your channel. Many people ask me for tips on if they want to start their YouTube channel and whatnot, and they expect the channel to grow overnight. But I tell them that, you know, it took years to build this channel up. Like two years before I saw any kind of like substantial return from the channel, so. Yeah, it is a way harder than it looks for sure. Yeah, Neiman Marcus, I think they're in financial trouble now. I'm not sure if they declared bankruptcy yet. I think I saw an article that said that Neiman Marcus and Saks Fifth Avenue, the parent of Saks Fifth Avenue, may consider merging with each other. But we'll see what's going on. Yeah, YouTube is really about a marathon, not a sprint. Maddie's asking, is YouTube your only income or do I have another job? It's not my only income. I can't survive on YouTube income alone. To be a full-time YouTuber it really needs a lot of dedication and a plan to, you know, map out your expenses and the money that's coming in. And it's not easy because YouTube can be very cyclical at times. I know a lot of YouTubers who do a lot of travel content, they're struggling right now because 
travel content is not getting the views as it used to. And some things on YouTube are like trends too. Like if anyone remembers the Harlem Shake, those videos were viral hits like a few years ago. If you make a Harlem Shake video now or something like Gangnam Style, no one's gonna watch it now. So you constantly have to keep evolving your channel, keeping up with trends or making content that, you know, people will always go back to if you don't want to do that kind of content. Like, I'm pretty sure cooking videos will always be relevant no matter, like, what day and age we're in. But if you make something like, you know, news or traveling, those kind of things can change from time to time. I mean, think about it, all the traveling guides about New York City from three years ago, they're all outdated now. Now, if you read a travel guide, they say, hey, Times Square is great. You can watch a Broadway show and you can go visit the Empire State Building. And if someone didn't know any better, picked up that guidebook or watched that video, you go to Times Square now, you'd be like, what? I can't see any of those things. What happened to the Empire State Building? What happened to Broadway? And I got some super chat from Jess Tay for 15 bucks. Thank you, Jess, I appreciate it. Let me scroll down the chat again, because I can't see. All right. Yeah, my channel is always current and it's also historical too and documentary because people can look back on my older content and you can see like how New York has changed throughout the years or throughout the months. Yeah, I really like this mask too. It was sent to me by a subscriber of mine. Wow, the sun's really strong right now. Yes, I360, I took the 150 question tour guide exam. I passed that test. All right, we'll go and check Hudson Yards. It's close by now. Um, I did not get all 150 questions right. I was trying for it, but I got 142 right out of 150. which I'm very proud of. Yeah, there's a tour guide exam if you want to be a tour guide for New York City. Maybe I'll take it out. No, John, I don't work as a guide. I haven't given an official tour. Here it is, uh, sightseeing guide license, 142. Yeah, Jenny, I would make an excellent tour guide, but there's a lot of stuff that, you know, you really need to fine tune if you really want to work in that business 
like you need to know about certain dates and historical figures and if you're really not on top of you know the area where you're giving a tour then you have to like research it and making sure you're doing the right things My thing is, I cover such like a wide range of New York, it's like almost impossible for me to like know one specific area really detailed. I know like a lot about the city, but I don't know a lot about like one specific part of the city. Maybe I'm just being modest. Elias Vlaz with a dollar ninety nine. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Hudson Yards. This is the most expensive real estate development in history. This costs billions of dollars to make this whole development, all these skyscrapers on top of the train tracks. Yeah, rainy Hudson Yards suffered quick. That's right. It just got built and now we're in the middle of this pandemic and I don't know what's going to happen now. If all these like luxury stores and the shopping malls going to make it. There was a lot of money put into this development. All right, let's go over here and take a look. This is the vessel, which is closed. I really want to climb the vessel again. And here's the edge at Hudson Yards all the way at the top. shiny buildings but they're all not open the shopping malls deserted the vessels deserted it is freaky misbehaving asking what i consider getting a content manager and editor when i get to 500k subscribers i mean it's definitely possible i'll have to see how i want to do with my channel so far I mean at this point I'm even having trouble like responding to all the comments and emails all the time before I was able to do it and now I just go and reply reply to a few now I don't think any famous youtuber or popular youtuber has time to reply to all the comments now I tried for a long time but now it's impossible to keep up with everything You want to see the shed, okay. Oh, I didn't show the shed. There's the shed. It has wheels too. You can move this building in and out. You know one YouTube who doesn't reply to comments? I mean, one thing you can do also instead of replying to your comments is you wait for a topic to be discussed in your channel a long time and then you make a video on that replying to all those comments all at once. Like I'm pretty sure people have asked the question of like, why are there steam pipes in New York City or like, where does this subway line go or whatever. Then you make a video about it like, oh, the steam pipes are for the underground steam distribution system. 
or there's scaffolding in New York because of like building laws. I got a 999 from Jeff Evans saying, Cincy Jeff asks why so much sidewalk scaffolding? Wow, I didn't even read your super chat and I was mentioning about the sidewalk scaffolding as well. So <laughs> here we go, perfect, perfect way to lead into it. There's some strict building laws on um, safety here because there, were, uh, there was a pedestrian, I think that was killed due to construction material falling off the top of the skyscrapers. And the scaffolding is there to protect the people walking under it. But they're also required to put the scaffolding up whenever they, they make renovations or do inspections on the building exterior. Some people think that it's like too strict and other people think that they're desperately needed, but it really detracts from the appearance of some of these buildings here. All right, I think I'm going to be somewhere along 34th Street during the 7 p.m. clapping. I don't know if I'm going to get a big response here. But we'll see. Kenneth is asking, where is the 7 train leave you off at Hudson Yards? Right here. That was a perfect, perfectly timed question. You're just a few short steps from the shopping mall and the edge and the vessel, all of that. Is the Jacob Javits Center still functioning? Well, I knew that um, the state was using it as a makeshift hospital at one point, but I'm not sure what it is now or if they're hosting events there still. I can't imagine um, them hosting events there right now due to all the rules and everything. But I can't uh, wait for the day where all the events at the Jacob Javits Center are hosted again, like the auto show and Comic-Con, things like photography events. Yeah, Jermaine, it is a very nice day to ride a bike. Lurker Dudes asking what, did I figure out what was wrong with YouTube streaming? It's the phone. I ordered another phone off eBay. When it comes, comes to me, I have to try it. But the Galaxy Note 9, I'm having issues with it, live streaming on YouTube. Thank you, Lynn Snow, thanking me for what I do. Yeah, it was the phone. Which is very weird. Lynn Snow with 999. Thank you, Lynn. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's a nice sun glare. I ordered the LG V40. It's a two-year-old phone, but I think it should work. Right now I'm using my uh, main phone, the iPhone 11 Pro.
You know what I'll do? I want to hear some clapping, so I'll go into the residential area of uh, Manhattan. I think we'll hear some clapping over there. This is the Hell's Kitchen neighborhood, so let's go over there. I haven't heard Hell's Kitchen yet, so... What a name for a neighborhood, huh? Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, Jude, if I gotta look into stream elements later. I think it's supposed to um, filter out the long messages and the emotes. Oh, you're very welcome, Enrique. Yeah, I think we can get some success here, Hell's Kitchen. Haven't been to this neighborhood in a while. Will we get hell from Hell's Kitchen? I don't know tonight. There's some buildings over here. I don't think Hudson Yards will have a show, to be honest. Uh, State Fly Tie, I started the stream about an hour and 20 minutes ago. Tone Riggs is saying it's called Hell's Kitchen because this girl I know lives out here. Well, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I did a video here once along 53rd Street where I tried to, where I tried to like explain the origin of Hell's Kitchen. Oh no, is this truck really gonna block me off? No, he's letting me go. But I explained the origin of Hell's Kitchen and there really isn't a clear-cut answer to where the name comes from. No, it wasn't close. I saw the truck. Alright. Hmm, what do I think? Are we gonna have some luck here? 37th Street, huh? Are there a lot of homes here? Yes, there are. And there's a big residential tower over here, so. I think this might be a spot, folks. Let's hang out around here. We got another building up here. We got another tall building up here. So this might be the spot. So let's just hang out for a few minutes and witness Hell's Kitchen. Look at this, I even got a bike parking too. I put the reel, the wheel right in between these planters. Very nice. Push it in a little more.
It was meant to be, folks. I haven't witnessed a 7 p.m. clapping in New York's Midtown yet. Times Square was dead. Anywhere has to give a performance better than Times Square for 7 p.m. I think those windows can open. I see an open window over there, right there. All right, don't disappoint us, Hell's Kitchen. We got two minutes. These have to be residential buildings. I see balconies. Marie, I'm on 10th Avenue and 37th Street. Only a few short blocks from the Lincoln Tunnel. I'm going to be quiet for now, just to hear all the noise.
But I gotta give my contribution now. Dun, 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 dun. That's all, folks. Hope you like that 7 p.m. stream. And I gotta address the super chats I got. And they are not showing up for me, so I apologize, whoever gave me super chats. I can't see your message. Um, but there was someone who gave me $10 at the very beginning of this. Let me see if I can scroll back to it. No, it's not letting me do it. But I got one from Jay Alexander. Love what you do in return for this. Give me a, give you a shout out for the dim hypothesis. Why the lights of the West are going out 2012. But really it's global and will affect us all. And I don't see the other one. So I apologize for that. Ronald Fleming. Someone told me it's Ronald Fleming. Thank you both for you for your support. I appreciate it very much. But yes. Hope you like that 7 p.m. clapping for Hell's Kitchen. And I also have my spur cycle bell to the mix too. I got two bucks from Tone Riggs, ring the bell rapidly like T.O. Hector. Not sure who T.O. is, but thanks for the two bucks. And I'll do some ringing. Let's do some rapid ringing though. Pretty loud bell there. Small bell, but a loud noise. All right, let's go to 34th Street now. As I said, I was gonna go to 34th after this. Yeah, Judah, my favorite, still Long Island City now. Long Island City was amazing with the guy playing taps and the dog was into it too. Amazing. I have to say, folks, Queens beats out all the other locations and boroughs for 7 p.m. I don't know what it is, but everywhere I've been in Queens with the exception of Flushing has been very enthusiastic for 7 p.m. I went to downtown Brooklyn. There wasn't that much noise. Hell's Kitchen was a lot less uh, lively than expected. Went to Williamsburg, Williamsburg, McCarran Park wasn't loud. Washington Square Park was just people clapping in the park and there wasn't anything else. Especially Woodside Boulevard Gardens, oh my goodness, you even got dancing there. Yeah, Just Kate MCC, I love, love that too. Unfortunately, that video isn't available now because whoever owns the music license, they block the video worldwide. I don't know if it was I Will Survive or New York, New York that got the video removed. You can't see it anymore, but that was a great performance there. Yeah, no, you would think that by leaving it up, it'll give some more publicity for their songs, but...
Gramercy Park is really loud. Maybe I'll check out Gramercy Park. I think now also, because we're already like three months into this pandemic, or at least the like outbreak in New York City, people are um, less enthusiastic about clapping. So maybe that's also a reason why there's less people clapping now, I don't know. But I want to see places that are like consistently out there, 7 p.m., energetic, on the spot. I try to like keep New Yorkers and New Yorkers on their toes. So if anybody's living here in Hell's Kitchen and those buildings, tell your neighbors you got to step up your game. And downtown Brooklyn, too, you need to step up your game. All the Queensview co ops now are silent now. I think a lot of people now are getting tired of hearing it, too. Even in the comment section on some of my 7 p.m. clapping videos, they're like, we're tired of this clapping now, and you're just clapping now for, like, you know, to these people who don't need it anymore. They just want quiet. And in a way, you know, if you clap near a hospital and make loud noises during a hospital, do, like, the patients inside really want to hear all these loud noises at that time? I don't know. Cafe Lotus thing. Has everyone ever asked them if they like it? That I'm not sure. There's no clapping where you live in Germany. I guess it's like a um, depends on the area too. I think in Italy, they were even like singing in the alleyways and and near their buildings. And it also is at different times too. I know in the UK, I think someone said it was 8 p.m. compared to 7 p.m. Whoa! Whoa! I just got jump scared by that tiny little dog. I thought it was like a tiger coming out of that building at first. I just saw it was like, rawr, rawr, rawr. bad puppy. I know, I think I, uh, I'm like, my life got shortened by a day because of that tiny little dog now. Oh yeah, Inward was, uh, very loud as well <laughs> yeah no it was pretty funny to think that I got scared from such a small little dog but then again he just rounded the corner like really really quickly and went arr, arr. I didn't expect it and I was like whoa thank you so much for the five bucks venture saying enjoying this walk and having my birthday cake happy birthday to you 
Thanks for the virtual New York City trip. All right. I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. And happy birthday again. Oh, look at this. Thank you, essential workers. We love you. I also like an advertisement in Times Square. It's by UPS. It says, we are all essential. And I truly believe that too. Thank you, frontline workers. You are appreciated. I want to add to that too. Thank you everybody for your patience handling in this situation. Thank you for everybody who's lost a job and is trying to make their ends meet now. Thank you for all the homeless people now. You know, we have to really thank everybody, not just the people who are keeping this together. We're all essential in one way or another. And I got another super chat from Jay Alexander. Thank you so much, Jay, for the two bucks. Appreciate it. What another quote. And I also, you know, wish my best hopes for the unemployed as well, because I know the unemployed are Many of them, they don't know what to do now. They're looking for a new job. They don't have the income that they thought they were gonna make at the end of the month. And it's really tough. Some of them are still having issues with getting their unemployment benefits as well. Here's 9th Avenue. There's B&H video and camera store. Closed now. We'll go take a look at B&H. Oh, that's so sad, Judith. All your travel agent friends are furloughed or laid off. I really hope that, you know, they find some relief soon or they'll be able to find employment. It's really a sad situation. B&H store closed until further notice. But they're open for online and pick up within store. Also, this newsstand is closed too. B&H, folks. You know, B&H right now, I miss the store because it's one of my favorite stores in New York City. I always like to come in here and look at the camera equipment and ask the associates questions. It's kind of hard to get that kind of interaction with an online website, you know. If you want advice on a microphone or camera equipment, you gotta go search up YouTube videos and then you gotta call or look up reviews it's not the same rather than having an associate come by and you ask them you say oh how does this work how does this work and they'll show you there's no sidewalk over here so i'm going to go on this side Yeah, Tone Rigs, their checkout systems are incredible. 
they have this whole like conveyor belt system in their store you can see it in the ceiling and it's making noise and delivering stuff as you shop through the store it's crazy I wonder where they even like store all this stuff or all their like camera stuff and products in the basement Oh, look at this. This place is called Farley. I guess it's in reference to the Farley post office over here. Uh, Justin, Kate, I just came from 9th Avenue. I'm walking towards 8th right now. I know he's getting paid, but they still owe him the day he has to pay the day. Yeah, yeah we're going to pass yeah, by Madison Square Garden. Yeah, we have three weeks to take that day. James is asking are the hotels still closed? I think most of the hotels are still closed, but the um, the Marriott in Long Island City, there were people inside there and hotel staff. So I don't think that one is closed. Yeah, Madison Square Garden is on top of Penn Station. Located at 33rd and 8th Avenue. Am I going to Koreatown? That might be a good idea. I think I'll go there. There's the Empire State Building, Madison Square Garden. Paul Cox with two pounds. Thank you, Paul, for your super chat. Appreciate it, Paul. Starfire, five bucks. Thank you, Starfire. I love that uh, little animation there. Samuel used to work here at Madison Square Garden or Penn Station. John Walter, two ninety nine. Thank you, John Walter. Yeah, I miss the um, the old Penn Station. I saw all the pictures and what it looked like inside that was destroyed. Let's go on the other side of the street. POV HFR 
Buddha Goddess One, thank you for five bucks. Thank you. Yeah, Monaghan Station is going to be very interesting. Oh, I'm going to have another issue with the sidewalk here on this side. I can't walk over there, but... What's that sign say? Pennsylvania something? I couldn't tell either, but this is Pennsylvania Station. Here's One Penn Plaza, which is an office building. Uh, I'm not too far away from Koreatown now, maybe about four long blocks. It's on 32nd between 5th Avenue and Broadway. Yeah, I'm going to have to cross the street here. I can't go this way. Look at the sign. I think we all love New York right now. If anything, this whole coronavirus pandemic has shown New York to be very strong. New Yorkers are very supportive of each other and I've never seen a city be so encouraging of others now. Look at my long shadow. Here's Lenwich, temporarily closed. Uh, I do like street falafels. They're very good. Mamou's falafel is a good place too. Peter, I'm considering doing Manhattan Henge. I forget what day it is. Is it the 28th or the 29th? Or maybe it's the 30th. I think I'll do the same thing. I'll ride my bicycle towards the sunset. It's the 29th? All right. So I'll ride my bicycle towards the sunset. That'll be a great view of Manhattan Henge. I got to make sure I provide like sunglasses during that time last time I rode my bicycle into Manhattan Henge my camera was pointed I think too far down and it didn't get the sunset so I got to make sure it's done perfectly like in the middle Manhattan Henge is when the sunset correlates with the street grid of Manhattan the last time I did Manhattan Henge and I rode my bicycle towards it, that didn't happen too well for me to ca capture it. And last year, I, when I did Manhattan Henge, that's when the power outage happened. Jane Asbury with 999. Thank you, Jane. Appreciate it. I know that power outage was so freaky last year. I was eating at a restaurant and then all of a sudden they told me they couldn't take credit cards 
because their electricity didn't work. That power outage happened on the Upper West Side and it spanned, it spanned for 30 blocks from 72nd Street all the way to 42nd Street. And I was eating at a restaurant on 72nd Street. I walked all the way from 72nd Street to 42nd Street along Broadway and I made a video about it. It was really surreal to see New York City without power. Here's Penn Station and Madison Square Garden across the street. I'm gonna go here towards Koreatown. Here's pizza. Pizzeria is still open. You know, I really love this block because of this connecting bridge. I don't know the name of it or what the name of these two buildings are, but it really makes the um, the street very interesting. Yeah, Manhattan is a very long island. In fact, there is a, another long island in New York City. And part of it is in Queens and Brooklyn. There's three big islands that make up New York City. Staten Island, Manhattan, and Long Island. Yeah, Rikers is an island too, as well as some other ones like North Brother Island, but those aren't really like the large, large land masses. Manhattan Mall. Yeah, Governors is a quite a big island too. But I wouldn't say it compares anything towards Staten Island or Long Island. Yeah, Manhattan Mall has J.C. Penney as their anchor tenant. So, J.C. Penney declared bankruptcy the other day. So, I don't know if J.C. Penney is going to remain in this mall because it is their headquarters inside the Manhattan Mall, but I'm sure they're going to be hurting. Yeah, Macy's is having trouble as well. A lot of casualties from retail for this. I mean, J.C. Penney it had its day, but they they stuck around for a lot longer than what I thought. Actually, J.C. Penney built their business on the catalog business. I think back in the 80s and 90s. I don't think that's going to be around anymore, the catalog business. Manhattan Mall, close. Here it goes, folks. This is for the history books. J.C. Penney with the old logo and this one.
Also, I'll show you this. Here's the other logo. For every moment, for every you, JC Penny. Bye bye, JC Penny. There's also a JC Penny sign in there. Thank you, Victor Rodriguez, for 40 Mexican pesos. Thank you, sir. You know, that might be an idea. If you have any old, like, JCPenney catalogs from the 80s and 90s, they may be like collector's items now. Yeah, the Sears catalogs too. Let's go to Koreatown. Also, I want to know if the public restroom here is working. Because we all know that restrooms are hard to come by now. And especially now with Macy's clothes and JCPenney clothes and the Manhattan Mall clothes. We need to know if restrooms are available and 34th Street, Herald Square. I got 1890 Real from Janina Crispin. Thank you so much. Yeah, Macy's was my go-to in this area as well, as well as Manhattan Mall. Yeah, stream elements, I gotta fine tune it. It's a bot. It's supposed to like cut out capital letters and people who are doing long messages, but I'm seeing a lot of messages that are getting deleted, which shouldn't be. Someone's playing music. public toilet is this available all right it says it's open but are they really open I don't think they are because they put the sign inside the door and it seems like it's locked well let me just try it pull on the door nope it's closed, folks, so if you're in Hell Square, no restroom for you. It's not open. So, right now, your emergency option is a Port Authority bus terminal and Eataly. Eataly is in the Flatiron District. You got to carry around your gallon milk jug. That's the emergency option. All 
right, Korea Town. Someone said that Penn Station has restrooms too, so you always have Penn Station. Yeah, B Griffin, this is Koreatown. Coffee and takeout is available. Yeah, H Mart is open, folks. And Udon Lab, open for takeout. H Mart has been open this entire time, folks. Is the tofu house good? There's a lot of tofu houses that are good here. My favorite's BCD. This one doesn't seem to be open. Oh wait, it says San Juan Garden. Delivery. Well, you mentioned about the World Trade Center Oculus restrooms. I tried going there the other day and they told me there's no restrooms available inside the Oculus. So that's one transportation hub that doesn't have restrooms. This little boutique store is closed. Kanjip Korean restaurant is open. You know, during a normal night, this street will be packed, especially now as the weather's warm. Shanghai Mong is open. Thank you, Crystal K Beauty. Love my videos. Thank you for taking us around New York. Thank you, Crystal. You're very welcome. Shadows saying the Oculus does have restrooms, but they didn't let me use it though. Liam Cashel sent $5 on PayPal. Can I say hi to Hannah Rodriguez? Hi, Hannah. Thank you for $5 on PayPal. You know, I'm glad that a lot of these businesses are still open for takeout because these restaurants are still very good. Soju. I mean, it'll be a while for, for me to deliver something back all the way to Queens. I'm going to go over here because I don't want to interact with this person. Here's New Wanjo, great Korean restaurant. Yeah, James, you gotta have your street smarts around you. It's hard enough to do as it is without looking at the chat. But I hope he gets help. You know, there's a lot of people in need now and we shouldn't ignore them. Gray Street, dessert place. I really hope this place makes it. They're really good. Korean pub, Pocha 32, is open. You can get your bubble tea here and matcha. Gong Cha is open. So if you want your bubble tea fix, you can come here to Koreatown. Whoa, this is open, folks.
the food court is open. At least some places in the food court are open. There's Miss Korea. Five senses. I love this place too. This place is a shame. This one's closed. All right, let's see. BCG Tofu House, they're open. All right. Pink Berry is open. Frozen yogurt. You know what? I think I'm going to get pink berry. But BCD Tofu House is open. Nice. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to get the pink berry. Too sweet for me. Plus, I don't want to eat it and then have to use a restroom. That's my main concern is now that I know restrooms are so hard to come by in New York, it really like takes away from the experience of drinking stuff and eating stuff you want. Yeah, James, I don't drink coffee. It's a long stream tonight. I don't mind because I've got my bicycle and I can get back very easily. I already walked for over two hours. I think I'll end the stream here though because it's been a while. I don't want it to get too late. Right here at the corner of the Empire State Building is a perfect ending. Yeah, two hours and nine minutes. Almost ten, ten minutes. Alright folks. I'm going to end this video here, this live stream here, at the base of the Empire State Building. If you enjoy this live stream, be sure to smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. I'll see you all next time. And take care, folks. New York's going to remain strong. And we're going to live another day. I'll go and uh, to this entrance here, the Empire State Building, because this one's the more iconic one. You can see a better view. Really good angle over here. Fun fact, the Empire State Bowling has its own zip code.